history is a great teacher, and uh, when, we, when we read history, we see that the, the church is always in crisis. The church is always in turmoil. There are always uh, these discordant voices outside the church, within the church as well. And it's never as peaceful as it seems in the textbooks. Uh, but it remains the church, and there remains a consistency to the teaching down through history. We, we can see how the, the authority within the church looks at what it's received from the time of the apostles, interpreted it again and again, and, um, and how it will apply it in the next generation, and how it's never been applied before. You know, we can also look at that in the Catholic tradition. And I think that's a great advantage. You know, we hold ourselves accountable not only to five guys who may be handpicked by the pastor or almost handpicked by the pastor, you know, but we hold ourselves accountable to all the saints in history in every generation. Chesterton called this the democracy of the dead. You know, we hold ourselves accountable to our ancestors. They gave us something in trust. We acknowledge that and we say, We'll honor that trust. We'll take it forward, and the future generations will get what you gave us. You know, that's a great thing to have, and it gives us a measure of peace as we go forward. I'm not saying that the church is not going to have, a, have crises. I'm not saying that the church isn't going to have turmoil. But we can be sure that as long as we're on the boat, we're going to get to port. You know, the seas may be rough sometimes. The seas may be rough all the time but we're going to get to port.